Hello everybody, I'm Pearl. I'm Bob. We are just passing through. And this is our next exit. Come and join us. Hey folks, welcome to the exit lane. We are here in Indiana, just outside of Indianapolis. We spent uh, a week, a little over a week up in, or down in uh, Horseshoe Lakes, which is about, I think, 80 miles west of uh, Indianapolis. Our nephew Robert lives there with his wife Esme and their two kids, uh, Jessica and Alexis, and her two older kids, Leslie and Tiki. The salad stuff is over here. We can have some spaghetti yeah. dinner. And I usually want a little bit of sour cream. I'll give you some sour cream and a minute yeah. for you. Hi. Yeah, she wants some sour cream. Are you hungry? Let me show the bowl. Stick them up. Stick them up. Bang! <laughs> Every time you need me, I'm telling you I'm here to stay. But looking at your castle, I'm pretty sure you're safe, but still afraid. So Alexa, who, who got my ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> and so we're spending really the whole month of June in this area, visiting with them, and it's an awful beautiful part of the country. I wasn't aware that Indiana was quite this uh, nice. But a lot of trees, a lot of, a little too much rain, but I guess that's why there's so many lakes and, and uh, stuff here. We've got a few drone shots of Horseshoe Lakes. It's a real pretty. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of seasonal RVers here, and they've the plus side is they fixed their sites up really nice, <laughs> pleasurable uh, places to be. I don't blame them for picking uh, horseshoe lakes. The lakes are big ponds, tiny lakes or big ponds, but they're nice. Uh, we saw a lot of turtles and rabbits, and uh, saw a couple of nice sized deers, and it looks like some brand new baby fawns with them. So we enjoyed walking around there. Robert and Asby and the family come out to visit us. We had lunch and spent the day visiting and made for a uh, uh, good week there. I'm walking in your garden Knowing what you're dreaming of Past the copper statues Of everyone you We've, now we've moved on over to uh, Indian Lakes, and this here is uh, Lake Conroe down in South Texas. It's one of the, the nicest Thousand Trails parks we've been at. And this here is kind of in that ballpark. It's got a, what you would call a lake here. And uh, there's a lot of, see people out fishing on it and stuff. We haven't done, got the drone out yet, but I'm sure I will today or tomorrow. If uh, It's been raining pretty good, but I think the sun's coming out for the next couple of days. So I get some drone shots. It's a great big park, great big campground. They have several huge park areas that are like a city park. Uh, the thousand, it's a KOA Thousand Trails combination. So the KOA people are on one side and they have more of these trees like you see behind me here. 
and where we're at is a lot more open area like at an open park which makes it nice for TV reception uh, I got a feeling it's supposed to be 90 degrees here this Sunday so it may be kind of hot uh, with no shade trees out there so we'll see how that goes so far it's been cloudy and rainy so it hadn't been a problem we've got three air conditioners in our coach and the rear one has been sporadic working off and on and I purchased a couple of uh, capacitors to put in it I think that's what's wrong with it and I'm gonna put those in. if it gets to be 90 degrees I'll definitely get those installed and see if that fixes the problem So one thing, since we're here, Pearl has got in her left shoulder, is getting sore. She can only lift it a little ways, can't lift it all the way up. She's having to do one-handed cooking and one-handed driving almost. So we decided we better get that addressed. And as uh, a lot of you know, health, care, your doctor's prescription, insurance, all that, uh, traveling around the country is a, a big issue that a lot of folks have. And how do you solve that problem? Before we left Las Vegas, I used to, uh, I was having a, I was afraid I was having a heart condition. Uh, as I exercised, my heart rate, my blood pressure, I normally have kind of high blood pressure, and I keep it under control with exercise and diet. But if I exercise, it was going down, and it should be going up, is what they tell me. So anyway, I needed to get a heart doctor. Well, I found this app called Zoc, Doc, Z-O-C, D-O-C. And I used them to find a cardiologist and with Medicare and everything, went and got all my stress tests and everything done. And the doctor said that I was as strong as a horse and my heart was good and no issues. And so I kind of forgot about that. But now with Pearl's arm hurting and being in Indiana, she said she thought it's time to go see a doctor and find out for sure what it was. So we pulled up Zoc Doc again and it just worked perfect. We, what you do is you pull it up and you type in your uh, condition, what, what medical issue you want to uh, get checked out. So we put in sore, sore, painful shoulder, and it put in your zip code, and then ZocDoc, and you put in your insurance. And then ZocDoc gives you a list of all the doctors in your area that uh, uh, treat your ear, the area that you're concerned about and it accepts your insurance. So we found, we were in uh, Horseshoe Lakes, which is probably 160 miles away. So we put a, got an appointment for when we got here, the first Monday, this is Wednesday, so she had the appointment two days ago. So that way if she had to set up another procedure, we'd, we're here for two weeks, so she'd have time to maybe get the second a visit done. We went in on Monday, Oh, they sent us the paperwork via, e uh, via email, so we had all the paperwork filled out. She went in, worked perfect, gave them her uh, Medicare uh, card and her Part G card, and uh, they got her right in. They gave her cortisone shot, talked to her a lot, and it was, uh, what was the name of it? Beacon, Beacon Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. 
is the medical facility she went to. The doctor there was about 40 years old. Super friendly, super asked her all kind of questions about her pain in her arm. Gave her a cortisone shot, gave her some medication. Set up another appointment for this Friday. She's gonna go back and get another cortisone shot in the front of her arm. And this time they're gonna, they're gonna have some kind of x-ray machine so they can get the needle exactly where they want it and then, and then squirt that cortisone in there. So she is tickled to death, and no co-payment, no, no nothing, didn't cost us a penny. Medicare and then our Part G took care of it, and I assume they'll take care of uh, this one. And our, our Part D, that's our prescription drug, drugs, took care of her pain medication. I think it cost her a dollar and a half for her prescription. So, so far, we're really happy with how this is working out. Her arms feet still sore, but it's sore in a little bit different area, and that's from the cortisone, I think, working up in part of her arm and and uh, uh, they said it would hurt probably for another week and it'll, it'll slowly start getting better and they gave her some exercises to do but I wanted to share this Zoc Doc with you because I think it's something that if you're traveling around the country you're going to find really beneficial so that takes care and we'll let you know how her second appointment ends up uh, a couple of things about our channel as I mentioned in our last video, we applied for monetization and they approved that the other day. It's been like two days and we've made, I think, $2.95. But uh, we haven't posted any new videos. So I'm curious how this video will do. Uh, uh, if you would, you're watching this video, be sure and like it. Write a comment even if you just say, hey, good to hear from you. Uh, we want to see how those things affect the monetization. And to let you know, I want to be sure and emphasize on our advertising funds. Our, we have got an email the other day from a couple that uh, uh, purchased a thousand trails and, and used us as their uh, referring party. And uh, so that uh, campground resale outlet website, that I'll put a link down here. They're going to send us another check. So all of that money, I just want to make sure everybody understands, is just going to go in a fund and we'll keep it public. We're going to post it on our videos and we're going to use that money to try to get, as in, uh, it's not much of an incentive, but it's more uh, to reward if folks will come, because people are nervous of making videos. So we want to, I think it'd be very beneficial, not only to you, our viewers, but to Pearl and I, to meet people that are thinking about doing this full-timing RV lifestyle or that already are doing it and explain how they did it and what their concerns are and how they resolve those issues. That's something we're all interested in. We want to try to get more people to participate in that and kind of dedicate our channel not only to our travels but to other RVers. And uh, so we're going to use all that money when when somebody will come and make a video with us to go out to dinner. and. Uh, uh, let that money pay for the dinner. So you're not supporting us, you're not, uh, we're not asking for money or contributions. It's just to help make the channel better and to help try to get other folks to share their story, which may be the exact story you've got and it might help you out. One thing about our Amazon affiliate, I was talking to our nephew and his wife, Esme, about using our Amazon link, uh, since it doesn't cost them anything extra. Instead of using us, our Amazon affiliate, if you've got a grandkid that's on a soccer team, talk to that soccer department and tell them to get an Amazon affiliate link. I can see how if everybody in the soccer league used the soccer affiliate link, you know, that would be hundreds of dollars for uh, the soccer uh, teams to use for whatever they needed for. Or a church. If you have a church, get an Amazon affiliate link and let the congregation contribute to the the church that way when you start getting hundreds or thousands of people using that link uh, that can turn into real money so we'd like for you to use our link to help our viewers help you and us uh, but even better might be the fact that if you're part of a big group you might want to talk to the leaders of your group and set up your own Amazon affiliate link and get that extra money that doesn't cost anybody anything extra going to your group so just a little tip there that you may want to use. Uh, along the same thought of Amazon Affiliate, we have another link that where we put things that we purchase and we just started this.
but it's uh, amazon.com slash shop slash next exit and I'll write that up down here I write that on, on the film they're fixing to close that because we hadn't advertised it nobody's going there so we're gonna try to start putting it we put stuff that we recommend in there if you want to see what kind of cameras we use or our drone or what kind of a uh, sewer hoses oh by the way there's several of you that have I can tell I've got you some new Class A motorhomes. It doesn't tell us who bought what, but uh, there's some folks that bought a tow bar and there's people buying their sewer hoses and just all kind of RV stuff, which tells us that that's our listeners that's buying stuff. So hey, thanks a, a whole lot. And uh, I know Terry and Cindy Goss, the managers there down at uh, Tropic Winds RV Resort. I see stuff that are big time purchases. That's got to be them. Uh, we still think about you guys a lot and thanks thanks very much for using the link but anyway if you if you'd go to that site it shows you the equipment that we use and uh, if people go there we may start adding more stuff you know I don't really know what all people are looking well I kind of do but kind of don't but we'll add more stuff to that but go there and it, at least look at it maybe that'll keep it open until we get it uh, stored now I've, I've got is our cameras and drone and a couple of things listed there just to make it active so that's kind of all of our uh, commercial stuff about our, our uh, how we make money, how we're going to make videos. I think that's probably the, because we don't do a lot of exciting things that people are going to want to watch. But I think all of us would like to watch different individuals talk about why they picked an RV or why they're thinking about picking a certain type of RV or uh, if, if they sell the house or if they're keeping the house or where they're going to travel. I, I, to me, that's some interesting stuff. We really look forward to meeting more of you folks and doing some more of these interviews. Uh, and if you, I'll put our, our summertime route, the map again, see it'll be up here, I think. Uh, I'll put that map, or maybe I'll just put it on the here on the video. If you're gonna be along that route and you got an interesting story, we've got a couple of folks lined up already. We're going to Jefferson, Ohio in about a week and we're going to meet a couple of different couples there and for sure one of them's going to make a video the other couple maybe they will or won't I don't know if they want to or not or if how far along they are but uh, if you want to make a video want to share your story or thank you solve some issue pretty good let us know and uh, we'll look forward to meeting up with you and if I could ask one more thing when we're meeting people it's a little bit concerning agreeing to meet people at different places people we don't know or I mean there are some crazy people out there uh, so when you send us an email or something it it would it's not necessary but it'd be nice if you'd stick a picture tell us a little bit about your age about your RV maybe a picture of the two of you uh, just so we kind of got a feel for who you are and stuff uh, it just it just makes it easier when we're talking back and forth to kind of kind of know picture says a thousand words kind of like to know who we're talking to and who we're planning on meeting and I think all of you can imagine that you know us but we don't have a clue who you are and so far we've met dozen well over a dozen couples and every one of them have been just wonderful uh, we've been nervous every time and every time it's turned out great so please keep sending us those emails and uh, let's keep meeting up but if you're uh, comfortable doing it stick a picture in there tell us a little bit you know are you a baby boomer we're not our channel is not too much about 30 year olds and stuff that's not kind of what we're looking for if you're a 30 year old and you got an interesting story uh yeah that we'd certainly enjoy sharing it but we're mostly looking for 50 60 70 year old couples that uh either are doing this lifestyle or thinking about doing it so if that's you shoot us an email here's our email address up here's our email address i'll put it up there and uh that's about it so thanks so thanks for watching the channel we appreciate each and every one of you keep the wheels rolling don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave your comments down below and we'll see you at the next exit bye bye Hey folks, welcome to the exit lane. We are in uh, Indianapolis. Indian. Hey folks, 
Our nephew Robert Cadell lives there with his wife. Uh, our nephew Robert lives there with his wife Esme and their two kids, uh, 